We are in a season of final addresses at the Presidential Election Tribunal Courts. INEC and APC, the respondents have submitted theirs, though it seemed much like they are not relying on the said final addresses, but will trust other means to get things done. Already, APC's final address was like a threat to the judiciary and the Nigerian people. We are watching to know if the tribunal judges will fearfully bow down to pressures. What about Nigerians? <coughs> are they going to accept anything as usual because everyone is afraid of the security operatives? What about the alleged resignation of one of the tribunal judges, though refuted? Certainly, a lot of things are going on beyond the courtrooms. Lots of meetings, negotiations, including attempts at bribing and threats, of course. The signals are there. Possibly, their attempt to stop the tribunal from doing the right thing. These moves also include alleged moves, according to David Hundain, to prove the judges, including the legal representatives of the petitioners. It is alleged that files are being looked into to spot faults and use that against the tribunal judges in case they have concluded. Tinubu has earlier promised not to interfere with the tribunal sittings, saying he was confident his victory would be legitimized. Though within himself, he knows what is actually true. After having studied events and realized everything isn't going the way after all, he remarked in his June 12th address that they wouldn't allow the tribunal judges pass whatever judgments. At that point, most Nigerians confirmed the handwriting on the wall. It was so clear the Tinubu led government will go out to stop the tribunal from doing its work. Following EU's report of the elections, Tinubu's government became more wary that their case is further damaged. They waited for a week or thereabout, using his council final written address to say what they intend to do, spark unrest. Already, APC supporters, most of which were paid, had taken to the streets and even marched to key offices to protest and register their displeasure with the reports. Though Nigerians had earlier lost hope in the judiciary, most are following events at the tribunal and getting some form of assurances that all is going well. Many believes we are about to see what happened in Kenya replicated here for the first time. As usual, all eyes on the judiciary. The alleged resignation of one of the judges. Don't know what exactly to expect and hoping not to demoralize anyone. But it seems some have compromised. What do you think?